Hello, thank you for watching this presentation on how to work with Visual System Simulator, or VSS. So here we are in the AWR design environment, and when working with VSS, you work with system diagrams. So we'll move over to the toolbar and select the appropriate icon to add a new system diagram to the project. Once in a system diagram, you can go to the immediate left of your uh, AWR design environment interface. Specifically, we'll go here to the elements uh, browser, lower left-hand corner of the screen. And from here, under system blocks, these elements can be placed onto the system diagram. So for instance, if we wanted to work with a modulated signal, I'll go here into the modulation folder. Note that we support various modulation schemes. In this instance, I'll select QAM or quadrature amplitude modulation. And we'll go down here and click, drag, and drop a QAM source into our system diagram. The AWR design environment is measurement driven. Therefore, before you begin a simulation, whether it be microwave office or VSS, you need to add a graph. In order to add a graph and or I should say a measurement, you have to place a test point. So we'll go up to the toolbar and select a test point, click, drag, and drop, place it onto the system diagram, make a connection to the QAM source. Note over here that we're leaving the uh, parameter settings of the QAM source at uh, default settings. So we'll be producing a 16 QAM signal with root raise cosine filtering. Now we'll add a graph. And uh, to this graph, we'll add a measurement. The first method of adding a measurement to a graph is going to the project brow browser, lower left-hand corner of the screen, selecting that graph with your left-hand mouse button, right hand, right, right hand mouse button, add measurement. And from here, we can see we have the VSS measurements or the system measurements. So we'll scroll down into the selections and we'll select a spectrum measurement, power spectrum. You can have multiple system diagrams within one project. And from here, we can select the test point in the system diagram. We'll select DBM for the units of the spectrum graph. We'll run the simulation. And we'll take note of the spectrum that is generated. As the simulation is running, we can add another measurement. Here we'll add an IQ plot or a constellation. Another method of adding a measurement is by placing your mouse within the graph, right hand mouse button, select add new measurement. And from here, we'll select a system IQ plot, still referencing test point one. We'll control the persistence of the IQ plot by saying, let me look at 200 symbols at a time. And we'll take note of the uh, constellation that's generated. This is a 16 QAM constellation with root raise cosine filtering. We can edit the properties of this trace by going into traces and then selecting no points. Show me the vector, click apply. And if we zoom in over here, we can see the 16 QAM constellation. Uh, we can go back to the QAM source and select rectangular pulse shaping as opposed to root raise cosine filtering. And we can clearly see the 16 QAM clusters. If you have further questions about working with the SS, you can always go to the help uh, getting started selection over here and reference any of the VSS chapters on getting started. So we go to the second level here. And you'll see following examples. In fact, you'll see an end-to-end -end bit error rate simulation, fixed point simulations, and RF budget analysis simulations under the Help Getting Started selection. Thank you for watching this presentation. Hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.